Jamie Foxx recently taped a Netflix special where he's going to break down what actually happened regarding his health scare. But now witnesses from that show are saying that Jamie said Diddy was responsible. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signer, and I had seen these rumblings, and I wasn't really believing them. I figured we'll wait till we hear it, but now there are conflicting reports as to what was actually said, but several have come forward saying Jamie himself says Diddy was responsible for his health scare. I want to play the clips in question. Now, there is a conflicting report that says otherwise. We're going to play them all. You guys will make up your mind. We won't really know for sure until Jamie himself confirms or the special drops on Netflix. Apparently, it's going to be dropping next month. Uh, but let's go through it. So the first one comes in from this guy, Choke, uh, and he brings it up. Let's just hear him directly. Jamie Foxx states in this, uh, spoiler alert, but <laughs> Jamie Foxx states in the, in the special that Diddy was responsible for what happened to him, and he is the one that called the FBI on him. So it's got to be a joke, though, right? I don't, I don't think he was joking. When then you Y'all can determine was he joking or not when you see the show because to me i'm a uh, new comedian right i've learned and ex and learned from the game i know when somebody's setting up a punchline, and i know when you're serious and when he said it i called and i'm the one that called the f he said did he yeah uh is the one that did it did something to me or whatever and i'm not going to give out i, I want to give away his jokes or nothing but is it a joke or not? After he said Diddy did, did Ooh, something yeah. to me, he said, and I'm the one that called the feds on him. So everybody out here that's talking about Diageo, this that, and other, better go back and think about when that happened to uh, Jamie and start looking at the chain of events. Now look, not I'm not fully sold exactly what he's talking about, but he goes on and continues this theory by trying to explain the timeline of events. I, I wouldn't say his get back, but for his protection, Jamie was scared, right? He disappeared, right? Mm -hmm. He out now as soon as Puff went to jail, right? We see him at the game with Jer uh, Jerry Jones, right? Before, J nobody seen Jamie. We just had these mysterious sightings of him on the boat, and then they had the fake Jamie out here, right? Then we haven't seen him. As soon as Puff went to jail, he was at the goddamn Dallas basketball game. I mean, football, football game, game, right? And now he just went and shot his special. And who's special ba uh, strongly based around? Mm. Diddy. Now, interesting enough, Jamie has always had like jokes about Diddy. In his uh, I Might Need Security special, he has that a bit about Diddy then. Yeah, and but been, it's not this. And it's interesting though, because I thought they were always friends. I thought they had like a history of friendship. They did. And he always would go to Puff's parties and They all that. did. He they they had a bromance, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They was bros. And then it went sour. Somewhere. Under the rainbow. <laughs> now if it was just him, I'd be like, well, I don't know. He doesn't seem to have the full uh, story. But now another one's coming forward. This is, sorry, this is uh, Big Homie. Big Homie comes forward, and uh, he's saying the same damn thing. Well, I know he poisoned Jamie Foxx, and Jamie Foxx reported him to the, to the FBI because of it. I know that's a fact. So, wait, you're saying that Diddy yeah, poisoned Jamie even... Foxx, and that's how like, Jamie Foxx got sick? Jamie Foxx reported this man to the FBI because of this. Facts. Fa facts? Wow. Okay, and, and how... I, I can't confirm it's a fact, by the way. I'm just playing these guys' testimony. Did you hear about this? If I, you can tell me, or if you can't, go over to this. Well, by the time this drop, this is going to be in the stratosphere. It's going to be in the ether by the time this drop. You can probably look it up right now. But by the time this interview drops, this is going to be out in the ether for sure. These people poison people, bro. I've been poisoned three times. Why am I testing positive for cyanide? You feel me? Why am I getting the, why do I have, I had pneumonia three times. So people like, man, why he breathe like that? Because I only got one lung. 
And then I had a car crash. I got one nostril permanently blocked. And I done had pneumonia three times. Somebody been trying to poison me. My, my, my brother got poisoned with me. The little lady I was bodyguarding, she got poisoned. Like, somebody is, is carrying on these antics. These is facts. Is there any idea why Diddy would want to poison Jamie, Jamie Foxx? Good question. Because, again, just because you got it doesn't mean he didn't. Let's hear what he says. You get called to testify if you on camera and some of this footage. <laughs> and you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself. It's a, it's a way, it's, it's ways in this industry people go about doing things. Just know I tested positive for cyanide three times. After drinking some bottles in the club. Once you get hit with the cyanide, it turned into pneumonia. I had it three times. So. Fact. So, so this. Well, just when you say facts, doesn't mean it is facts. Now, but another uh, another um, person has come forward. Uh, this is coming in from, uh, where is this? This is the uh, media takeout. Uh, their report had somebody else there as well during the special. Jamie explained what happened during after the stroke. Diddy was responsible. According to Jamie, he was poisoned by the former bad boy legend, and it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite a joke. Confirm that when Jamie uttered those words, fans initially started laughing, but then Jamie looked directly at a fan, gave them a look like, I'm not joking. Uh, so it's crazy, man. And apparently he didn't elaborate on the special about why did he did it. He just made the comment, gave the fan a look and continued on with the comedy show. Now here's the conflicting report. Okay. Third attendee, Dennis L.A. White, told Page Six that he went to the second and third tapings of the show. He claimed he heard Fox say something more along the lines of, people keep asking me if Diddy was responsible. He was not responsible. If he was, I would have been dead. Now, that sounds more like what Jamie Foxx would say, if I'm being honest. Out of all the stuff I'm hearing, I believe this one the most. White added that he does not recall Fox mentioning the federal government or law enforcement However, he claimed Fox spent a good amount of on the sets talking about Combs, even making several jokes about baby oil. So again, this makes more sense. Probably did, but how did the other guys not catch that part? Now, Jamie could have done different sets, to be fair. He could have maybe done one set where he actually told people, I called the feds, and then the other two sets he didn't. There's a lot of possibilities still here, but I've got I gotta be honest, this take feels the most likely to me. Uh, that's what I would say, but I don't know. What do you think? Do you think choke, uh, and, uh, this other guy, big homie are the ones telling you the truth. Do you think this third expert was also there? They just sort of pulling up clips based on the others. That's kind of what I worry is happening. This has become sort of a whisper down the lane. This theory has been out there and then someone sort of put it out there saying, well, I heard it at the comedy show and maybe they misheard it at the comedy show. And what was really said was this. That's where I'm aligned right now, but at this point, I would not be shocked. Anything is possible regarding this story. Once this special comes out, we'll know for sure what's put on it, what's said. Uh, we will obviously keep you posted on that, so make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts, and smash that like button. Regardless of what, we will be covering the Jamie Foxx special and so much more, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. We got a lot more coming your way. You're not going to want to miss it.